Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I uh, thought I'd show you a few of the steps I do for making a turkey. Okay, well, for starters, I've got the bottom of the pan lined with carrot and celery sticks. Um, you, uh, I rinse off the turkey and pat it down dry. And then I take melted butter, as you can see here. And first, I go through, as you can see, and I just kind of, like, paint the turkey, so to speak. That's what my son used to call it when he was little. Mama's painting the turkey. Um, and then I use uh, some uh, rubbed sage and oregano and salt and pepper. And I put that all on the top. And then I go back over it again with the butter. I use real butter. I don't use margarine. Um, and I'm going to add some chopped onions to it in just a minute here. And then I'm going to put it in the oven and let it slowly start to bake. Now this is just a turkey breast, so there's not all the other stuff inside. No one in my house will eat dark meat anyway, so I only buy the turkey breast. And uh, about halfway through baking, I will put some foil over the top, tinted, and I'll show y'all how I do that, so that it will remain moist but it won't get too crispy or too burnt looking on the skin so be back in a minute okay almost forgot to tell y'all i've got the onions over the top now and yes i cheat i use chopped onions that are dehydrated and i use uh you know dried i try to get the good stuff especially for a holiday dinner. Okay, anyway, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken broth to the bottom of the pan. And that just gives it a little extra moisture. Helps with the basting. I guess I should keep it. I'm terrible with this selfie stuff. Okay, anyway, be back in a while. Hello again. And I am back. As you can see, I've got a really nice browning on that turkey. So now I am going to tint it with a little bit of some aluminum foil. It's really not that hard to do. You just kind of make a tint for it. You want it to fit loosely not too tight and get the oil with a lot of weight and not burn my fingers in the process okay and now it goes back in the oven for a little bit longer okay something else I thought I would show y'all because I don't know how many people actually whoops edit that out. I don't know how many people nowadays actually know what this is. This is called a vegetable brush and it's for when like I'm going to be making mashed potatoes but before I actually peel them and slice them up you use the vegetable brush. Let me see if I can turn this a little bit see what I'm doing. Anyway, there we go. So you use the vegetable brush to just kind of scrub the outside of the vegetables. It's all the dirt, all the stuff that may get on it in, uh, during its travel from the farm to the store, to your kitchen. And it just helps kind of uh, clean everything off. Um, I know there's a lot of people, whenever I said something about using a vegetable brush one time, not, not too long ago at work, they had no clue what I was talking about. It was like, well, it's you know, your veggies with, and they still didn't know what I was talking about. And that's because a lot of people, mashed potatoes come out of a box, you know, and your veggies come out of a can. 
or out of the freezer. Uh, a lot of people don't cook with fresh foods anymore. I know some things I do, some things I cheat and I use a mix just simply because I just don't have the time anymore to do like I used to do or the way that my, my grandmother or my mother used to do it. And I can remember my grandmother standing at the kitchen sink and scrubbing away on vegetables and potatoes and all that kind of stuff. So uh, just thought I would share that with everybody. For those of you who don't know what a vegetable brush is and what you would use it for. I will pick up where I left off in a little bit. Bye for now. Well, the day is closing down. I'm finally sitting down and resting. Had lots of friends and family here. Everybody ate and then they ate again. And then I actually had leftovers. I had to clean the kitchen and put all those up. Dishwasher's running. I call it a good day. Now I'm going to let my food digest and then I'm going to go tackle my laundry so it's done and out of the way. I can spend the rest of my weekend just enjoying myself. So once again, a happy Thanksgiving to everybody. For those of you who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, give thanks anyway. It's just a holiday. You can celebrate it or not. The choice is yours. Um, oh, and also, Happy Indigenous Peoples Month. I didn't realize we had a whole month for that now. It's about damn time we got one. So, Happy Indigenous Month. Y'all have a lovely day. I'm sure I'll see you again this weekend. Either in the chat, or who knows, I might get I might get itchy and decide to pop on and do a live by myself in a little while. If not today, maybe tomorrow. Depends on how long the laundry takes. Y'all have a good day, and I will see everybody later. Bye.